this lens has absolutely defeated me. This is the 85 1.4. I have been trying to make this video for almost a year and I failed epically because I don't like it. This is a series, a non-technical workshop series where we explore different focal lengths while shooting a variety of subjects. This is the focal length challenge. This is the 85 millimeter 1.4 lens. I tried to make this video last year and failed epically. We're at camera camp right now. What better opportunity than to try this again, see if I get a couple portraits with it and kind of get an idea of why people like 85 millimeters so much for portraits. And we're filming this portion of the video on the new Sony ZV-E1, which is a new little full frame, tiny little camera. It's really cute. So uh, we're gonna try out this camera whilst shooting with the 85 millimeter lens. All right, let's go try to find some friends uh, to take some portraits of and uh, see if we can change your mind. Hello? Hello? Hello, anybody? Did it actually? Yeah. I took like a circular check of skin out, almost like- Like, wait a minute, what was Levi like doing? It's been a long time since I've shot portraits. Were you gonna take a photo of that guy? Much of it wasn't even part of camera camp. It was like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take his picture? <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll get out of your way. I was like, I just gotta expose. So just uh, turn a little bit more towards the window, like your body. Yep, there you go. Perfect. And this is what's challenging about it. It is so tight. <laughs> the All the way back. And one, two, three. Hands kind of up towards the face and just kind of like look over your shoulder a little bit. Chris, I look I feel like I'm looking at your eyes. Look, look like camera <laughs> <laughs> I got a portrait of you, Jacques. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> the important part of portraits is, is, you know, framing up the shot. And if you don't have a good frame, you can make a frame with things you see. That's in the dirtiest frame ever seen. <laughs> Next victim. This is tight. Yeah, actually straight on. That's kind of cool. And just, we're gonna hold and like, right in the lens, period. Like, I'd love to spend like, at like two hours just like doing stuff, but. This is part of my dirty frame I love collection. That. Gerald is killing it on the BTS here. <laughs> the and actually BTS. outperforming what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so so far this lens is like pretty sharp, so that's neat. I'm not convinced on the focal length itself. Can I take your pictures too? It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> is there anywhere else cool that's like a different location than this? What do you think about the 85 millimeter focal length? I like how it looks in the end, but I dislike using it. The 85s that I've used luckily have been super sharp, but there's something about using it that feels awkward. Like it's not a telephoto thing where you expect to have to run super far back, but it's not close enough that you can get close kind of thing. I don't know, it's weird, but it looks good in the end. Maybe maybe I just don't use it enough. I don't know. <laughs> There's a set of steps here with some harsh light and some shadows, and I don't normally shoot that, but I think it might be interesting. So we got Levi's, so we're just gonna um, pop right. a squat there on the- Pop a squat, Fanny. What do you got in your pocket? Oh, Jesus, bye. What are you carrying around, Trent? Just supplies. <laughs> just supplies. <laughs> just in case, you never know. Got my multi-tool. Can I be fixing something? Yeah, do you have something to fix? No. Oh my, that's very tight. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I like the knee and the one step, that looks good. It's not his first rodeo, is it? No. Becky God. tried to tell me this morning that the best part about your content is the farting, but I just vehemently disagree. I think the farting is one of the best features of our content. <laughs> farting is real niche. It's actually kind of nice and soft here, but it'd be nice to, yeah. here you go. Move your fanny towards me. This fanny or this fanny? Both. And one, two, three. Normally our shooting portraits on a fifth, so 85s. Weird. Weird. Everything is different. Like every framing that you've set up so far, you've had to like take several steps back. Yeah, do you see it, how I like yes. got pretty close and I was like, oh wait, I have to get back. Have you ever used the 85 before? I do, and it there's a phase a phase where I really liked it, but now I'm like I'm leaning back towards more wide stuff. 20 mil, yeah. Yeah. I like standing next to people like this is where I like shooting from. Yeah, so. and then you just get like a nice big perspective. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Alright, so we have three portraits. I'm still feeling real weird about the folk length of 85. Like as soon as I bring the camera up to my eye and I'm seeing the picture in front of me shot with a 50 mil. So as soon as I bring it up, oh god, I gotta step back like a hundred feet. <laughs> That's an exaggeration. Yeah, I recognize. And Gerald was close by too, so that's weird. So that means Superstar. that you are more popular than Gerald? I mean, <laughs> in your face, Gerald Undone. <laughs> <laughs> what? So we're gonna go back to the office, review the photos, talk about this lens a little bit more, and then uh, see if I've changed my feelings on it. No, I'm bummed now. <laughs> you got wet marks. 
I went through all of my archives to see if I could pull a couple more 85 millimeter shots and I don't have any. And something that I've noticed is that most of my images are either shot at 50 millimeters, 70 millimeters, or 150 millimeters and up. Clearly what I was saying throughout this video that the 85 just feels super awkward for me because it's never a focal length that I tend to go for or tend to use, so I'm not really used to shooting with it. But I know a lot of you guys really love the 85 mil lens because you've been asking for it in the last couple of episodes of this series, so I thought I'd give it another try to see what I could get, to see what all the hype was about. I have not changed my mind about 85 millimeters as a focal length. I'm still not a fan, but I did enjoy shooting portraits with it and the challenge that came with that. And I am happy with the results that I got. The lens itself is very sharp. It's a beautiful lens and it has nothing to do with the lens itself and everything to do with the focal length and the fact that I just don't see photos in 85 millimeters. What is this lens good for? We're gonna break this down in people, places, things. First, talking about some of the portraits that we shot. So I showed you a couple of the images that I shot of Jacques and Donna and Levi during the shoot, but what I didn't show you was a couple of portraits I took of Sarah Dietschy and Jenna Zarek. The sun was dipping down behind the horizon super quickly when I shot the shots of Sarah. We were kind of working against the light. Thankfully, I was shooting with the a7 IV, which is pretty good in low light. The 85 millimeter lens is a 1.4 lens, so when we're shooting portraits, we don't always want want to choose 1.4 as our aperture because we're only going to get a select portion of the face in focus. So I had Sarah kind of come down by the water and kind of crouch down. I did a bit of a dirty frame with some purple flowers that were there. And I wanted the pictures to be kind of colorful and feel like California because California was giving us a sunset. So I thought, let's play that up. And Sarah has such a fun, bright personality and her branding is kind of that kind of fun, bright, punchy colors anyway. So I kind of moved towards that for the processing of the image. What I found was when I was shooting kind of mid shots, I had to get back super far because 85 is so tight. But once I got my composition, I was happy with what I was seeing through the lens. As soon as I step forward towards the subject, we're definitely seeing how sharp that lens can get. And it definitely does shine for portraits. Same thing when I shot this image of Jenna, we were out of light completely. The sun had dipped. We were boost in our ISO, we were shooting F1.4. We took the lays that we had and kind of did a dirty frame and I kind of did more of a punchy colored abstract image of her. Is they're different from what we normally shoot or oftentimes pushing towards more desaturated images. These were kind of fun to experiment with. Different colors, different poses, and uh, obviously shooting different people is always fun. For shooting candid photos of people, I think the 85 is really interesting. If you are in a tight space, say like at a backyard party and you're shooting photos of your friends, you're gonna be up their nose. It's going to be very close. So that's why I would prefer a 50, but if you do like 85, then it is really great for portraits. So there was no distortion because we're shooting so telephoto. We're still not going you know, to 200 where you're kind of getting this like boxy compressed jaw lines. I think it is a flattering focal length for portraits. I'm just not sure I would choose it. I would definitely be choosing the 50, but that's my personal preference. So don't attack me in the comments because I know you guys, a lot of you guys like the 85 mil. I feel like you're either like a 24 millimeter and 50 millimeter person or a 35 millimeter and an 85 millimeter person. I think for places you're not going to be shooting architecture with the 85 mil. It's just, it's too tight. And detail shots, yeah, you might get some, but it doesn't have a super close focusing range either. So you can't really get super close up images and you have to get super far back to get anything in the frame. So for me, I don't know if I would choose this for places, maybe for some kind of detail shots, but again, I'd be choosing the 50 for this. I shot one landscape image when we were in Idaho. That's when I tried to shoot this video in the first place. And I got one picture that I actually liked with the 85 of a landscape. And it's kind of this dirty frame from the gondola out onto these mountains. I can see if you like this lens, you might be able to see things differently. I think the 85 mil focal length is more interesting for things. Uh, again, you're not gonna have that close focusing distance like you would with some other lenses, especially like a macro lens. It is kind of interesting to cream out the backgrounds if you're shooting plants and flowers. You can kind of see the separation between the harsh light on this Birds of Paradise image and the creamed out background. So you're easily able to isolate the background from the subject with this lens because it is more telephoto and this one particularly shoots 1.4. So you're gonna get a creamier background. You're gonna get shallower depth of field with that anyway. So it does become a little bit more interesting for things. The more you shoot, the more you learn what you like to see through the lens. And oftentimes I talk about how when I'm shooting a picture, I see it in my head before I actually take the photo itself. And you can see it in this video, a lot of times I go to frame up the shot thinking in 50 millimeters and then have to step back a bunch to fill the frame for an 85 mil lens. So you're thinking of the photo before you actually take it. And so being aware of that and 
recognizing what are you seeing in your head and what focal length matches what I'm seeing in my head. Once you figure that out, you can start to figure out what lens is best for all of these things, what lenses you like best. Just because I don't like an 85 doesn't mean that you're not gonna love an 85. And just because I love a 50, you might hate a 50. So the benefit of photography is that we all kind of have our own creative vision. We have different ideas of what a good photo is and we have different preferences as well. In the last focal length challenge video where I shot 600 millimeters, I said, I think I'm going to choose an easier focal length next time. And I did not choose an easier focal length next time. The 85 was a challenge. I did not let it defeat me this time. And I am happy with the images that I came away from at camera camp. So thanks to all my friends who sat and posed for me for this video. I really appreciate your time. Time. And thank you so much to Sony for having us out to San Diego for camera camp. A blast as always. Guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what I was gonna say. There's some harsh fanny light here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> fanny? <laughs> Do you want a fanny in it? <laughs> oh, you meant the fanny pack. Yeah, explain it. Not a butt. No, not a butt. Okay, explain. You want my fanny in it? I didn't mean to interrupt your filming. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> okay. So there's this cool thing called content aware. Have you heard of this? This is a thing called healing brush. Have you heard of it? You've never heard of curves? Never heard of curves. Oh, here's a cool one. Are you looking at my butt? You got something sweet in those pants? I think that's the best. Definitely some sweet in these <laughs> pants. Congratulations on finishing your video, Becky. I finally did it. We brought it together and made it happen. Then my butt got wet. Back to the studio.